What about a state of mind where you didn't really believe in money? You didn't even believe in money. That the spirit could use it as part of the dance, but you didn't believe that it, it was anything positive or negative. It was just part of the dance. It was like leaves blowing in the wind, you know. You, you weren't looking at those leaves blowing in the wind and saying, oh, that looks like gain over there, and oh, that's lost there. You, you imagine how crazy that is if, if you had a tree that had hundreds of leaves, and suddenly there's a big gust of wind that comes and blows, we'll say, several hundred leaves off the tree. Do you really think the tree is going, oh my, I'm so sad. I've just lost 300 leaves. <laughs> Do you really think the tree is thinking that it's lost 300 leaves? Now human beings seem to believe in this thing of gain and loss and reciprocity and scarcity and everything, but again, those are ego beliefs. Those are not laws, the one law of, of love, the, the law of God. Those, that's why we have to relinquish, we have to let go of believing in those things. If you don't have a sense of need and lack, you're not, you don't have a discontent, you feel fulfilled, you feel in alignment with God and everything, it would seem to be that you would be naturally generous. What Jesus is telling us is the generosity, what we believe generosity is, in terms of the world, is the exact opposite of what it truly is. So our thoughts are so twisted and our beliefs about ourselves and the world is so twisted that we have completely forgotten what true generosity is. And I would say true generosity is a giving heart. It's really a state of mind of being loving, joyful, and happy. And it has nothing to do with what we describe and define generosity in terms of material terms. He says, the term generosity has special meaning to the teacher of God. It is not the usual meaning of the word. In fact, it is a meaning that must be learned and learned very carefully. Like all the other attributes of God's teachers, trust, honesty, patience, so on and so forth, ultimately this one rests on trust, for without trust no one can be generous in the true sense. To the world, generosity means giving away in the sense of giving up. So we think of the philanthropists, you know, Carnegie, Ted Turner, There's, there are philanthropists throughout history that have given away lots of money. We call that philanthropy. To the world, generosity means giving away in the sense of giving up. To the teachers of God, it means giving away in order to keep. So it's the opposite of philanthropy. In other words, you would be generous to keep a generous feeling in your heart. You would be generous in giving away to keep it. So the teacher of God is generous out of capital self-interest, out of Christ interest. This does not re refer, however, to the self of which the world speaks. It's not talking about the ego. The teacher of God does not want anything he cannot give away because he rec realizes it would be valueless to him by definition. What would he want it for? <laughs>